How's it going guys? It's Fake Thriller and today I'm bringing you a little bit of Regicide from Halo 4. Um, for those who don't know, because I know not everybody plays Halo, Regicide is a new take on free-for-all where you're not, um, you're not racing to whoever can get the first uh, amount of kills. You're actually racing to get points, uh, like most team death matches and other objective modes. Uh, but the way you get points is basically by slaying people. However, there's a difference. There's uh, someone called the King, who is basically whoever is in first place at the time. And as they stay in first place, they gain more and more of what's called a bounty. And that bounty is points that you will in turn earn by killing them. Uh, so, what you gotta do, like, the, it, it creates this weird me versus you versus me versus them versus us versus you type situation where it's a free-for-all so you're trying to kill anybody you see you're not friends with anyone but at the same time your priority target is whoever the king is because there's a bonus for killing them and that's whatever that bounty is I think it maxes out at 30 or 35 points so it it's great because well it's great and it kind of sucks for the same reason it it eliminates the possibility of a runaway victor by someone just being flat out 100% better in every regard. Uh, like most free-for-alls tend to be for, you know, medium to like pro level people. You can usually find a free-for-all lobby. And this part right here is actually pretty crazy. I get pinched by these two guys. I put shots into both of them. And then I like, I go upstairs and I come back down. They're both dead. I'm like, whatever. I'm not going to complain about this. Um, so this is actually, uh, I think this is called Complex, this map, and it it's nice because it's wide open, and I, f I forgot to say, you probably can see online, uh, or on the screen, that whoever the king is has an indicator over their head. I'm the king right now, and you can see it says, you are the king. So everyone can see where I am at all times, and uh, so there's no point in like creeping around. You'll see later in the match somebody who is king is actually, uh, maybe this isn't that match, but I've had people who are king hiding around corners thinking that they can't be seen, and then I turn around and know exactly where they are. Um, so this map is called Complex, and it's a nice open area. Uh, it's perfect for the DMR. If you use any other gun on this map, you're I think you're at a disadvantage, because I had some guy peppering me with a, a battle rifle, or trying to hit me with a battle rifle from across the map, and I could hear the sound and I could see his bullets coming from his gun, but uh, <laughs> he wasn't even hitting me. And then I zoom in with the DMR, and boom, 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 he's dead. And uh, so my recommended loadout, and the one I'm using in this video, is the DMR, and most importantly is the armor ability, which is the uh, the jetpack. I chose the jetpack, and I use the jetpack uh, as more of uh, how I move around the map. I don't like to soar too high up in the air because you become an instant target for everyone else on the map. So what I like to do is I use it to extend my jumps just a little bit. Uh, you'll see I do it sometimes to get up to places that I wouldn't normally be able to get up to like this. But I don't go too high. Like, like that's as high as, as I go. I'm not putting myself in any particular danger. I'm just keeping myself uh, in the action by, you know, drawing that straight line and going right to it. And I actually, I come around and get this guy. He ends up camping there for the longest time. But remember that green guy. He was a camper in this. Uh, it was so annoying. Um, I end up coming around to get him, though. And um, so basically, the, the name of the game for this is use your headset, uh, pay attention, look around, see where, uh, where bullets are coming from, see where people are dying. Um, that's the other upgrade I have. It's called Sensor. It allows me to have an extended uh, radar so I can see red dots a little bit further out than the average, the average Joe. And um, this guy ends up going down getting the rail gun. I cap his buddy here, but uh, when I turn to try and get him, he gets me with the splash damage because my shields were down. I thought I had him too. I just needed like, one or two more shots. But um, I think Regicide is Regicide is definitely one of the only game modes I can play alone. And it's not because it's uh, it's not because the rest of the game modes aren't you know fun or anything like that. Like Team Slayer is just it's really frustrating. It's uh, it's tough to do because 
it's just try hard mode all the time. And uh, if I'm not playing with a buddy to keep me cool, then uh, I end up, I end up, you know, getting really pissed off. And um, one other thing you guys might have noticed is this is on my fake thriller account. This is on my fake thriller channel. If you guys haven't seen this, um, it's probably because you're just subscribed to me on Shusty Bang, and. Uh, I've been I I've been more active on my Let's Play account. I don't I don't want to. I'm not going to call it my fake thriller account. It is my Let's Play account, and I, I just there comes a time once every blue moon where we have too much content to post on the Shusty Bang channel, and it, I don't want to get spammy. So I like to throw stuff up on here every so often, and uh, that's what I'm doing now with this one. It's just a little bit of quick tips for regicide. It's a it, it's basically a nice free for all. I get assassinated right there. One of the one of the challenges I was going for on this one was to get 18 regicides in one match, which is friggin' impossible. I thought I had it with this one because um, technically they're counting any kills as the king to be uh, a regicide, and then obviously a regicide is when you kill whoever the king is. Um, so I thought I had it. I think I end this game with like going like 25 and 8 or something like that. And I was king most of the time, so I must have barely just missed it or something like that. I got a couple kills. Like this, this, I just became the king. I must have been the king already. So I don't know how I didn't get the challenge done, but it was really depressing that I didn't do it. And uh, I think it was because I kept running into random people here and there. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm, still, I'm still learning a lot about Halo 4. I'm trying to figure out the best way to present videos. And... Um, I think I think I got a few things figured out, but it all depends on how everything comes together and what you guys like and what you guys don't. So um, be on the lookout for the Halo 4 playthrough of the campaign. It's going up on this channel um, any time now, really. It I just need to sit down and start it. I was thinking about doing maybe co-op. Oh, here's the one where I'm facing off against this guy. He thinks he thinks he's hidden, but uh, he ends up getting smoked. Um, I was thinking about doing co-op for the uh, the campaign mode. I just I was looking for another YouTuber that might have had an Xbox that hadn't played it yet, and uh, I I mean I haven't really tried. I haven't looked very much, but um, I think I'm either gonna do it solo or I'll find somebody to team up with. But um, anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. If you if you aren't subscribed to this channel, I'd love your support. Um, I know Let's Plays aren't for everybody, uh, but there'll be some stuff like this here and there, and. Um, I guess that's pretty much it. I win the game, red side, I'm the king, and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.